God feed people. Tell you what, I gotta send you out to that spot I was talking about out in Mifflinsburg. Okay. Oh, you went to that place? I went out there two weeks ago again. I picked up, they had uh, pre-smoked turkeys. Okay. Nice side, about 17, 18 pounds. Yeah. 99 cents a pound. 99 oh, cents a pound. That's it. All you had to do was heat it. He didn't serve it. It was already smoked, cooked, ready to go. It was a good price. Can't beat it. Price, no. Couldn't beat it for that price. And how many pounds it was each, each turkey? Like 10 pounds? Uh, they had them anywhere from 10 pounds up to almost 25 pounds. So from $10 to $25? Yeah. I picked up a couple, seven, the first one was 17 pounds and the other one was just about 20 pounds I picked up. And heated up the 17 pounder, made it up a couple Sundays ago for dinner. Man, was that thing tasty. I was shocked. <laughs> Except for 99 cents a pound, you can't beat it. You know? no, that was a good price. Even if it isn't any good, I'll feed it to the animals. It doesn't matter. No, yeah, that's true. Well, that price? Yeah, you can't beat it. It was a good price. But that was some good stuff. They had hot dogs there that I picked up for these guys. They had to be the diameter of an Italian sausage, you know, the nice thick one. <laughs> About yay long. It sounds funny, Frank. <laughs> oh, yeah. Delicious, man. It was good? Delicious. It's and those, they were 99 cents a pound, too. It's spicy Italian, Frank. What's it, up? What is spicy now? No, no spice at all. Tastes like regular hot dogs. Okay. Okay, baby. But yeah, no. That's, that's the only way I can feed these guys. It's a two hour ride, yeah, but right. I make it worthwhile, you know? Yeah, because you save a lot of money and... That's it. And I guess you have fun going there. It's like a, a little trip. Yeah. Well, that's, I went from having one freezer, I have three freezers going now. Because whenever I go out there, I'll, I'll pack up. The last time I went out with my pickup, I had almost a whole bed cool. completely loaded. It was 400 and change, but... I couldn't buy... In case something happened in the world, I know where to go for food. Oh yeah, please. <laughs> if you ever need anything, call Anthony, me. Anthony, you need food, anything happen in the world, <laughs> you know, we know where, where to crash. Last year at this time, that's what I was doing with a lot of my neighbors. When they were having all the shortages of everything. When we had the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> pandemic. Yeah, pandemic, you don't want to get me going on that. Yeah. Anything I say will be, be politically incorrect. The pandemic was the best thing to happen to Joe Biden. Right. Was it, was, it was everything planned. It's not happened by coincidence. Oh, everything. To the T. Yeah. But that's okay. We don't know nothing. Oh, listen. We don't know anything. You know what? I figure by the end of four years of this circus that's going on right now, mm -hmm. People should be ready to sell their souls to get a real president back in office. Huh. I'm not necessarily even saying Trump. I don't care who it is. Just somebody who actually has... You. You for president. For our president. Everybody have a muscle car in the driveway, I guess, would be reasonably priced. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as soon as he shut down the pipeline, I turn around. I told my wife, I said, watch what happens to gas prices. Yeah. Oh, you say the same thing to me. I say the same thing to you. Open up, Chio. Yeah, open up. Okay. Here you go, brother. Thanks a lot, dear. Ah, you're welcome, man. Hey, man, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? How's everything good? Yeah, everything good. Hey, uh, you know, I got my nephew here. Uh, is it, uh, how many heads you... Two more. Oh, okay. Two more. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, we'll cool. take him, we'll take him. Okay. He just came from New York. He came He's from like, New York. Yeah, like, Dude, what do you need a cut? I think, <laughs> I think you guys was the last time he had gotten a cut. I said, wow. Wait, wait, wait. So, all right, cool. Good all right. deal. So, oh, we'll just be right here then. All right, buddy. Thanks a lot. Thank you. 
But yeah, now feeding like your little ones and all, you can't beat it, Geo. Some of the stuff I got out there. And if you shop it right, you make out pretty good. So. So you you would pick, pick out some groceries from the from the neighbors too, right? I normally will. It's, uh, well, tonight I'll be having uh, roasted chickens. I got now this here. This will blow your mind. Marinated, roasted, or marinated whole chickens yeah. for roasting or what have you. Mm -hmm. 50 pound box. Take a guess how much I paid for it. 50 pound? 50 pound box. Shoot low. Oh, okay. Shoot low. Uh, at least $50? I said shoot low, Gio. <laughs> I don't know. Paid seven dollars for a whole thing. Fifty pounds of whole chickens. Wow. This chicken, hands down, one of the tastiest you'll ever have. Not good. Delicious. But the key is, you gotta, you gotta buy the whole fifty-pound case. So that's why I got all the freezers going right now. I take them, defrost it down, break them up into smaller packages, and. Pack mm -hmm. them in the freezer so that we have them for dinner and all. For $7? Can't beat it, Jim. Yeah. No, that's a very good price. Can't beat it. And that's, like I said, during the pandemic last year. You did it good. That's my neighbors. Anybody who, you know, was running shy on anything. Here you yeah, go. My attitude is it's the right thing to do, you know. You did it really good. Uh, like I good said. Price. You know, I'm not, I don't, you know, go to church every Sunday and preach, you know, the preachings of the big man upstairs, but <laughs> somebody tells me, hey, listen, I'm hungry or I need a hand. You get it home. I'm there, buddy. You know that. That's, I still, we still laugh and joke around about when I had the barbecue across the park a lot there. Over there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was good. I enjoyed it. Are you kidding me? I miss it. How many times did you do it? We only did it the one time. Oh, okay. We gotta do it again. This summer we gotta do it. Do it right here. Yeah. It'll drive brown nuts. <laughs> no, you know the way here. <laughs> you're gonna be happy because I guess he's gonna eat some. Oh, guaranteed. And I don't know if you can say no. I don't think you can say no, right? I never say no. You see? As we have, uh, we meet up once the summer breaks. We meet up with a group of friends and we have a little barbecue. Oh, okay. And the one husband gets gets upset. He goes, I don't know what he's trying to do, why he's showing off. <laughs> I looked at him and said, Joe, I said, I'm not showing off. I said, when I come sure down and have a barbecue with you guys, so I'm bringing probably more people than everybody else. Do you like it, Eli? Good? You like your haircut, buddy? Good? Say good. Say. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Good Give it thumbs up. More yeah. higher, more higher, more higher. More, more. Come on, you got to show the camera. Thumbs up. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Don't be shy. Don't be shy. But I told the guy, I said, I'm not trying to show off or anything. I said, I'm bringing more people than anybody else, so I'm going to bring more food than anybody else so that I feed everybody, you know? You were showing sure off, Frank. Not me. According to the guy. I just believe I just believe in feeding people, man. I don't want anybody walking away saying, I wish I could have had one more piece or, you know, another hamburger or another hot dog or... Okay, buddy. Ready for the party. You're going to feed people, feed them. You want me to wait, G, or? No, no, no. I'll take your next. Okay.